Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be playing with a full face of makeup I love but never use. <laughs> so these are kind of like neglected products, but like the twist on neglected products is that these products I actually love. Like I will tell you I love them. Um, I will use them. I will show you guys them in favorites and stuff like that. Or at one point I did show them in favorites and I did love them. And I just haven't been using them because I've been using so many new products, so many new loves, some other loves, um, some alternatives whatever it is um if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's just get started okay let's start off with some primer so i have a few primers actually that i'm going to try to like put on my face um first and foremost the ColourPop pretty fresh hydrating hyaluronic acid primer i really do love this primer it's so good it this is kind of one of those products though that once I use up all my Project Pan items, then I'll use this one um, solely. But since I have so many Project Pan primers, I've been getting, I've been trying some new primers. Um, and yeah, basically that's what it is. Um, this one doesn't get used that much, but I do love it. It's such a good primer and I think it's going to be so good for the winter because it's hydrating and glowy. You can see like it just makes my skin look so good, but it's also hydrating. And so I freaking love it. Again, I just don't use it. Um, next is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I've used this, I used this a while back, and then I just used it a little bit ago for the first time, um, in a while, and I just, I love this primer because it's like that kind of lotion-y kind of primer, but it's just a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more liquidy, and so, again, I love it. You can see, like, how my glow just multiply because it's so good and it feels so good and I love the way it feels applies it's almost it also gives you that tackiness to make your makeup last longer it's so good but I just again there's other things that I'm trying to use up that are newer and stuff like that and so that's why this one just doesn't get used but I do love this product too as well I don't know if I'd ever buy the full size but you know what I mean you know you know the deal all right and then next we're just gonna <laughs> i know we're priming it up we're gonna go in with the nyx bear with me cannabis sativa seed oil revitalize and set multitasking spray so i am gonna use this as a primer just because um that's how i'm gonna start using this so that i can use it i love the way this makes my skin look i love the way it makes my skin feel i love the way it makes my makeup look and feel and it just truly sets your makeup and it's a good one it's kind of like the smashbox primer water primer water kind of deal um and so i really really freaking love it i just never use it especially i gotten i've gotten one two three four five like five or so different um, um setting sprays in the last month or so so that's why i haven't been using that girl a lot <laughs> all right next we're gonna go with some foundation this is the tarte maracuja tinted hydrator i have the shade 34 and medium neutral again you guys know how much i love this baby i talked about it non-stop the minute of like when i first got it and then i kind of just stopped talking about it it also it uh, what also has to do with this is that since i got tanner um this shade wasn't like a perfect match anymore but still i just don't use it enough at all and i stopped using it because i got new things again and um yeah, that's so bad. I gotta stop doing that because this is so good and I love it so much. It's so beautiful. It makes the skin look just absolutely perfect. And with all the glow going on, it's just like literally, literally a flawless product. Um, the only reason, the only way, we, the only reason I feel like people wouldn't like it is if they don't like, if they like a full coverage or something. This is definitely light coverage, um, no coverage. So obviously if you don't like that you're not gonna like this but literally if you're someone who likes light coverage if you like glowy products this is your best friend and you can get the little mini guy which i i love her i do <laughs> next we're gonna go in this is the morphe fluidity concealer again i, I have the shade c 2.25 but again this is another product that kind of got too light for me um when winter i'm sorry when summer started but still again like i could i could have made it work and i just chose not to because i got new concealers that i wanted to try i have a bunch of concealers in project pans um but i did put this in a project pan which is why i find myself using it more um but i love this concealer i feel like it's a good concealer it's like almost it's like a medium coverage concealer honestly but i feel like it's such a good and creamy formula for being medium coverage um i find i, I in a lot of concealers i find that the more coverage the more the heavier it is and the more cakey it looks and not as beautiful it looks but with this one it's a good it's a good one because it it gives you like medium coverage but you still feel like it's 
a light coverage product it's very lightweight it's very creamy it's very like um it blends really fast and it just looks so nice on the face obsessed and it's only a few bucks like so good so good um, next we're gonna go with setting powder. Setting powder was hard because I feel like I rotate through them all pretty equally. I feel like my most neglected out of the ones that I love though is definitely, has definitely been this Catrice Prime and Spine Luminizing Powder. Yes, I have the shade Radiant Beige and again, I just got newer things and other things and so this one kind of sat on the back burner but i love this powder and i feel like this is going to be my favorite during winter because my skin is dry and i hate oh my gosh i hate when my skin is dry but um this is a good one because it still gives you that like radiant glow but still sets your makeup and so i love this powder next is bronzer and i have two that are very like i love them so much but i never freaking use them like these are literally never um first is my nars bronzer in the shade Falasis. i love this bronzer so much i got it at tj maxx and it's one that I will never get rid of ever because I love it so much. I use it all the time. Mean, no, I don't use it all the time. <laughs> I want to use it all the time. But since I've gotten so many new bronzers and I have bronzers that I love, I don't even want to say love a little bit more because I love them probably equally, but I just love them out also. And they're newer, so I use those over ones. Um, if I didn't have those, these I'd be using all the time. But since I do, it doesn't get used all the time. And next is the Ofra Bronzer in Americano, could you have guessed? Um, this one has a beautiful, beautiful sheen to it. So I'm just going to mix them both, I think, and, you know, get a beautiful bronze. I, again, these bronzers are so perfect. Like, look, just look how beautiful. Come on. Come on, man. This combination, okay, I've never done it before, but I love her. L love her. All right, next is blush. And for blush, first I'm going to be using the Physician Formula Butter Collection X Whaley. You guys know I love this product and I can't get, this is another one that I can't get rid of because I do love it. But, um, um, I just don't use it. That was the, that was the thing. There's so many other blushes that I would much rather use and not because of the formula, more so because of the shade, but I do love these and I can't get rid of them. So I have to use them. I'm going to mix both of them. It's the shades Wildflower and um um apricot i don't know if you can buy them as singles because honestly they are um in this palette and they say limited edition i don't know if they're limited edition for this palette but look oh my gosh this is so beautiful oh my gosh i need to use these more oh delicious okay i am also going to go in with the two highlighters in here they're um whimsical and golden hour i literally have probably used these like once or twice i literally don't use these <laughs> ever um and i don't know i really don't know why it's just like i just don't i literally just don't so we'll see what happens here they're a, more of a cream kind of formula but i don't know that doesn't usually bother me i think it's just like i don't know they're like very dramatic maybe that's what it is Ugh, they're so beautiful though Woo! Okay, I like that. Um, another blush I wanted to mention real quick that I'm probably going to pop on is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffuse Heat. Again, these are all products that are ones that I just can't get rid of, but I like never use. And this one's a big one for that. I cannot get rid of it because it's Hourglass, but I never use it. But it is so beautiful. It just transforms your entire face. I love that blush. I love that blush so freaking much. Like literally so much. All right, I don't really have a brow pencil that is too, um, um, like one that I never use. So I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, next is eyeshadow. And this one is hard because I don't really like, like, I don't know. I have eyeshadow palettes that I love and I use. And then I have eyeshadow palettes that I don't use but that are so new. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say that I love them, if that makes sense. My chin looks really glowy. Um, but first, we'll talk about the Going Coconuts Eyeshadow Pots from ColourPop. Now, this is just one of those products that are so new that I don't really know how I feel about it. But, like, I can't get rid of it, you know? Like, I wouldn't say I love it. Like, I don't recommend this in every video. I haven't even... I don't think I've ever recommended this palette to anybody. Um, only when I was talking about a dupe, but that was before I actually used it. So, I don't think that actually counts. Um... But, you know, I, I like this palette. It's a good palette. I just don't know how I feel, but I still can't get rid of it because everyone and their mom loves it. Um, and I was also going to use a different palette too, but I feel like we'll just go with this one. I also keep it because I love, like, this shade is so gorgeous in the middle, Coco Crush. Everyone and their mom loves that shade, so I'm like, I, I need to keep it. Um, I'm just going to go in with the shade Shell Yeah in the outer corner, and then I'm going to put um, Coco Crush on the lid. 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna put Shell Yeah in everywhere <laughs> that isn't the lid. Outer corner, um, crease, the whole nine. I honestly have so many newer palettes that I don't use that honestly I wasn't gonna go back and pick an old one that I didn't use. So, um, yeah. But this one's truly, like, I can't get rid of it even though I don't love it. Or I didn't love it the first time I used it, I didn't get rid of it. Um, I still, I just can't. <laughs> This shit is beautiful. You just definitely have to spray your brush or else you get a ton of fallout, number one. And number two, mine is so crumbly in there. It's kind of annoying. And so, I don't know. I gotta use it more. But I still, I just, I can't bring myself to get rid of it, you know? Okay, so we're on a bit of a time crunch. If you don't know, um, now you know my laptop is irritating. It's broken still. So, <sighs> It's an issue. Either way, I just went in with the Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in the shade Bronze. I love this eyeliner. It's really nice. Very creamy. Very smooth. I just, again, never use it. I barely, I rarely ever wear waterline. I barely, rarely, do, very rarely do I wear eyeliner and then in my waterline and then this one is just the last pick always. <laughs> um, but I love the formula. And then this is also, I just went in with the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Again, I freaking love this mascara. I love the packaging. Love the, the mascara, the way it makes my lashes look. I just have so many that I love that this one is the last out of like the few that I really, really love. And so I do enjoy this one. I don't, I don't buy Tarte mascaras ever. I usually get them like in a set or something because that's the best way to get them. But they're so good. And um, yeah, I do love that one. Just never use it. All right, next let's go in with, what should we go in with? We'll go in with this one. This is the Koki Velvet Smooth Lip Liner in the shade Mauve Nude. Again, another Koki product I love. Never use it because I have so many Essence lip liners. I have so many e.l.f. lip liners. I just have other lip liners that just get used first. And so this one is just, you know, at the end of the line. But I do freaking love the formula. It's very, very beautiful. Okay, then I'm going to go in. This is a product I haven't used yet, but I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven lipsticks that I have not used yet. Um, and so <laughs> um, I have to use them even though they don't really pertain to this video. I'm just going to go on. This is the Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade um, something. Oh, 1995. Is that the shade? Yes, it's the shade 1995. Sheesh, I thought it was a crazy name. I was like, I don't know this name. I haven't used them yet, but... Ugh, it just looks so beautiful. Ugh, so cute. Obsessed. Live for that. Um, so yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I'm actually gonna go in with... This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Again, this is another product that I just never really get to use because I have so many new ones. But I do love this setting mist and... Um, when I use up all my other setting sprays, like this one will be, I'd be repurchasing because I just, I love that one so much and it's so beautiful. So the quote for today is, only in the darkness can you see the stars. And I probably said that one a lot, but, um, it's just such a good one. Only in the darkness can you see the stars. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.